Hi everybody! Tonight I will show you how I did my little mittens on my circular knitting machine. The Centro 40 needles and I also used the Centro 22 needles for this pattern. So I cast on one in the front and one in the back for the first row. Sorry the light is, is not good because it was 5.45 when I did this video this morning. So it was kind of dark and I forgot about the light. So sorry for that. So put that in the yarn feeder for the second row. There. I do usually five rows of waist yarn and I add my project yarn. To do that I would just take my yarn, put that in the same place of on same place I left with the waist yarn. So I put it there, make sure it being grabbed by the needle correctly, and then you'll be okay to continue to crank. There. Then so for the body of the gloves or the mittens, not the gloves, I did five waist yarn. 10 blue, white, I did 5 rows, and 20 of blue, and then 5 of waist yarn. And then I crank. So now you have the recipe for the body of the mitten. I will show you how I add a new color soon there take it a little time see the little mitten on the table I will do that video soon to show you how I did this one it's a little bit bigger than the one I did for this video Sorry the video is not working like very fast with this part, but if I try to remove it, <laughs> it bug every time. It took me three hours to do that little video tonight before I go to work. So I add some white, pull on it, make sure the needle grab it correctly. And I will do five rows and I attach those two because it's the project. Uh, project yarn not the waist yarn never attach your waist yarn with your project yarn because it won't be easy to remove that remove at the end so everything is there and I will just crank for five rows of white the white will be the place that you put the thumbs so I'll pull some yarn and I crank again there sorry that okay put that in the middle and I I did my five rows I will add my ten rows of blue now put all the yarn correctly on the needle pull on it and I crank it's not I will attach with two knot so already I have 5 waist yarn, 10 blue, 5 white, and now I will do 20 blue. And at the end of the 20 blue I will add some waist yarn. There. Almost there. I 
will give you the numbers for the thumbs later in the video don't worry so now we do the body of the mitten so I, I talk about the recipe of the body of the mitten and when I did show the thumbs I will tell you the recipe for the thumbs so that way we stay all together on the same track so so I continue to crank till it's time to do with the waist yarn to do the cast off to do the cast off I will come back with my waist yarn put that in the yarn feeder the same place I finish with the, my uh, project yarn make sure I hold it a little bit make sure it's been grabbed correctly by the needle see almost done it I almost lost it here really need to be in the needle so I will put it there there hold it and then I crank like I said usually five rows but I just used uh, my leftover yarn for that one so I will crank till there is no yarn to do the cast off so magically it it's gonna remove by itself there and ta-da and sometimes it gets stuck there it's okay just take your loom hook and remove it from the needle put your machine aside and it's time to stretch 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 your project come back with my second centro i will cast on the first row like i did with my other machine earlier this is the centro 22 needle i did all the cast on for the first row now i'm gonna crank my waist yarn i will do five rows of waist yarn put it in the middle and i will come with my project yarn I choose to take some white so I put the white and put that just beside my other tail there and crank slowly to make sure it it get grabbed correctly so I will crank for 10 rows I know there's no counter on those machine but if you don't have anybody to bug you in the house when you do a pattern or project You'll be just fine <laughs> so i cut at 10 put the yarn in the middle pull a little bit on it come back with the waist yarn put it closer to the other one make sure it's been grabbed correctly hold it and then you crank till you run out of yarn And it will release by itself like it does with the 40 needle machine just earlier. There. I know it's still warm outside, but it's time to think about winter. Especially in Canada. In Canada, it's very cold in the winter. Like in US, some part. So time is too close. This time I use the... The, not the crochet but the hook that it come with the machine so we grab one side and grab the other side I will do that till I get to the uh, other end I will always close it the opposite side so that way when I arrive at the end I have the tail of yarn the, the white to close my work correctly so I will always go opposite if you're not sure how to close tube or if the video is too fast I will put in the video description a video it's called five ways of closing tube by Jojo Juju and you will be just fine don't worry this video could give you option to do more project if you're not a 
hooker or crocheter. <laughs> I'm not sure you could say that in English, but in French it's work. So I, p I did two stitch and pu push on it and it close. So I will do the same thing here. See, I have the tail on the opposite side that I will start. Maybe you will see it better here. So I did close both square. This one is for the thumbs. And the body of the mitten was just fine too. So for the thumbs, it's ten rows, uh, five rows of waist yarn, ten rows of blue. Not the thumbs. <laughs> yes, the thumbs. Five rows of waist yarn, ten rows of white color, and then waist yarn again for five rows. That was the recipe for the thumbs. It was right on the the screen, but I forgot to say it. So I say it now. So I must finish this side. Grab my yarn, and sometimes it divide. And I noticed that <laughs> that crochet, that hook, is worse than the one I use usually. This yarn is all mm, divide with that hook. For the yarn, I use some Bernat uh, satin white and Bernat satin blue. So almost there. Make sure you grab all the stitches because if you miss one, you're gonna have a drop stitch and it's not always fun to have. So make sure you find all it. And make sure when you do use waist yarn to use um, very different colors. So you see here, the tail was not at the right place. So I would just go and grab it with the, the needle and put it where I need it. A little tips. So well, yeah, when you use waist yarn, make sure it's not a uh, color that is too, uh, it's just, it's not, I have to be the opposite. I was looking for that that word so time to remove the waist yarn one side is always easier than the other so that's why it go fast and the other one there's always a little knot that you have to figure it out and sometimes <laughs> it doesn't work so you have to cut it sorry for that it's terrible I know but sometimes for the video I have to cut it because I will be like there for 20 minutes find the, the way to open that knot and I don't have the time. So I remove the first row and then I will put it and it will work just fine. There, stretch, stretch, stretch your work. It's gonna be your thumbs and I will eye those tail later. So time for the body of the mitten. So for the body of the mitten, I did five, I see the little um, stair over there. Put that in the middle so that way you won't see it when it's gonna be a mitten so it will be a regular line so no step in it and it would look professional you know no need to say to your friend how you did it so time to close it I will try to be a little bit fast like I did for the thumbs I put the tail on the other side and I will grab one side and go the other side to close that tube. I will do the same thing both sides. So the recipe, I didn't finish. So for the recipe of the body of the mitten, you will need five rows of waist yarn, ten rows of blue, five rows of uh, white, and twenty rows of blue. And finally five rows of waist yarn I did five rows of white to be easy to uh, install your thumbs so if you wonder why I did the strip in the middle of my mitten it's only to be easier to understand and to do so hope you enjoyed this little tip 
so I almost finished this side it's funny because I put that video a little bit faster I worked so 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 slow that it's almost look like a regular person working right now and it's point one point five a speed <laughs> I'm very slow with my hands I have a problem with my shoulder that's why but it's good to have a video that fix that so nobody noticed that that I'm very slow so I continue oh this one divides so I remove it and we'll try it again there make sure you grab all the stitches very important almost there always nice to have uh, your loom hook close to your, your project and I will do one chain and another one push it with my finger and thumbs and time to remove my raised yarn the knot is there so this side is not the easy one to remove but it's okay you understand that so I will remove it <laughs> it's like do 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 <laughs> oh my god do you remember that show I don't remember that the name of the show but I remember I was watching it when I was younger so remove the first row and after that I will be it will be easy to pull on it to remove it there Ta -da! it's done so this side is done the other side will go very very fast time to eye those little tail just put that between the two layer very easy to do there so the body of the the mitten is done time to do the little thumbs And the little thumbs was five waist yarn, ten white, and five waist yarn. And now I will uh, sew it using the mattress stitch technique. So I will grab one V in the middle, not not V, one stitch in the middle of the V for each side, and then I will pull the yarn, and will it will go like it will do like a invisible seam there i use that a lot in my video here i'm sure if you're following me on other video you will see me do that it's the easiest way for me now but at the be beginning i know i was struggling with that but with time i get better it's been three years now that i play with my machine I still enjoy it and I still find new project to do and share it with you guys so I pull it see look great I will do the last two stitch oops lost it I like those uh, needle they are very easy to use especially with me <laughs> oh no no there and I do a double knot and pull on it so now I will do the double knot and I the little tail between the two layer very very easy like you could see using that needle there now I will close the top of my thumbs I will grab just half of the stitch all over half of it 
and then after that I will pull on it just half of the stitch so that way it won't go like too big to close if you take a two, uh, the stitch complete the complete stitch will work too but will be very big on so I put that to a double knot cut it and hide it between the two layers So I will go back with my other part. We'll do the same thing here. I will go and do a mattress stitch. But this time I will grab two stitch one side and two stitch the other side. Why? Because I want to save time. But if you have a lot of time you could do like I did the thumbs and do one each each side each side Oof. <laughs> and you'll be just fine so remember the color I use the white to show exactly where to put the thumbs I measure it uh, on my little girls and this morning before she went to uh, her babysitter not her babysitter or her friend <laughs> oh I don't remember that name oh, it's okay at that time so I stop here and I will pull just before I get to the white pull on it pull 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 and I will do a little knot here and I will take the tip of my uh, needle and go inside and go to the blue I skip and I will go and continue to on one side to on the other side continue and then I will pull on the on the yarn to give like a invisible seeds so I put that a little bit faster because I know that you understand it now there almost at the end Make sure you grab all the stitches and then you pull on it and I always put my finger on the other side to make sure that you don't twist your project so pull but not too too uh, <laughs> too strongly strongly is it a word I'm not sure but don't pull too <laughs> oh I missed some words today anyways it's time to close the top of the mitten so I did like the thumbs I just go and grab half of the stitch with the tip of my needle I go around like this just grab half of the stitch almost there don't give up almost there and then after that you will pull on it to close your tube there just a couple more stitch and I will be just fine pull on it pull 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 And 
and close it and do a double knot. Make sure that you don't have any hole in the, in the middle. Have to be very close to keep your little finger warm this winter. So I will go inside, but it you could do it outside too. I just go inside to do the double knot and we'll hide it in the double layer. There you go. Cut your yarn. And voila! Time to attach your thumbs now. Oh, I have to attach that. I um, have an, another tail of blue to hide to it. I almost forgot that I have to do a double knot here because I didn't do anything when I start. So it's done. I did in the layer. Cut. And thumbs time. For the thumbs. You have to start. And make sure you did <laughs> in the right place. Because the first time I did it, it was not in the right place. So I grabbed the thumbs. I grabbed two stitch. Not two stitch. A full stitch on the thumbs. And I will go grab one stitch just in the middle. Grab a full stitch and in I will do like just one. Two there. I remove it's not a two two stitch, it's like a full V. And when I go on the body of the mitten, I go in the middle of the V, I just grab a bar. I don't know if you understand it. It is like that. So I grab one and two, a V there and a bar on the body there. I will find some word to to be uh, easy to understand. La. Almost there. Don't worry, but I, I just gonna tighten my yarn after. So grab full V, you could see it. And grab one bar in the middle of the stitch. Oops. Almost there. Pull on it. Don't pull too much, because you don't want to close your thumbs inside yeah you need to put your little thumbs in it so put your finger in it or your thumbs to make sure that you have a lot of room and when you do the the knot here don't tight it just attach the knot and then you hide it in the white in the two layers and voila you're done your first little kids mitten with me there and cut it there so this is for the one this one and I did another one you will see the video soon the other one is a little bit bigger I will give you the recipe soon on another video don't worry so hope you enjoyed this video and see you next week ciao ciao